This is your 28storms.com cyclone update for Monday the 28th of November. Starting in the South Pacific, we see that the monsoon trough is continuing to generate daily shower and thunderstorm activity across the Samoas, and we also have an upper low over the Coral Sea inducing some additional convection, but this is really not tropical related in nature, so no development is forecast there, and the tropical waters surrounding Australia continue to be quiet. So we are looking like we are going to escape the month of November without any tropical cyclone related threats to Australia, which is fairly typical for this time of the month. As you can see, the tropical cyclone landfalls based on history are somewhat rare, but as we go into the month of December, we do see a pretty good uptick in the threat of tropical cyclones as we inch just a little bit closer to the peak of cyclone season. In addition, the GFS model ensembles are continuing to take a fairly strong pulse of the Madden Julian Oscillation across the maritime continent and into the southern Pacific as we go into the middle part of December. And based on this alone, that would tell you that there is probably a well above average chance of at least one tropical cyclone development either somewhere close to Australia or somewhere out in the open waters of the South Pacific. And if this forecast remains the same, then I think those odds are going to be in the favor of anyone looking for some tropical cyclone activity. All that being said, however, the much more imminent threat is still in the Arabian Sea. Of course, we're still dealing with Tropical Cyclone 5A. As of the latest advisory from the U.S. Joint Typhoon Warning Center, maximum sustained winds are 35 knots. They're forecasting the cyclone to peak with a maximum wind intensity of 40 knots, before weakening just off the coast of Oman. A microwave satellite pass taken of Tropical Cyclone 5A just a few hours ago was showing that the center of circulation is still to the southeast of all of the primary convection, although that inner core was showing some signs of organization. On a more regional scale, you can see that the Tropical Cyclone is taking up half of the Arabian Sea with quite a lot of thunderstorm activity. But on the water vapor, you get the picture that the favorable upper level ridge that was once located directly over the tropical cyclone is beginning to prograde a little bit more toward the east over the Indian subcontinent as an approaching mid to upper level latitude trough begins to impinge on that upper level ridge from the west. As a result, the tropical cyclone is currently facing quite a lot of southeasterly wind shear, mainly from the upper level ridge located just toward the east and over time the storm is going to feel the effects more so from the trough as we see there is an excess of 70 to 80 knots of vertical wind shear over much of Saudi Arabia and this trough is going to continue inching closer toward the tropical cyclone so southwest wind shear should eventually cause this cyclone to dissipate within the next 72 hours. So interest along the coastal communities of Oman and southern Pakistan along with northwest India may see some passing showers, but it does not appear that much of a significant flooding threat will be imminent with this tropical cyclone. So that is certainly some good news. It really doesn't look like this storm is going to have a significant impact on anyone in the future, unlike what it did, unfortunately, to Sri Lanka and southern India within the last week. And you may also notice in the central Indian Ocean, there's a second area of convection trying to flare up. And there is a potential for this convection to develop into a low pressure area over the southern Indian Ocean. Now the good news is that if that storm were to form into a minimal tropical cyclone, it will do so far away from any coastal communities. So it does not appear that any additional threats will be imminent in the Indian Ocean once tropical cyclone 5A begins to diminish. If we go ahead and take a quick look at the latest 0Z run of the ECMWF model, we can see that Tropical Cyclone 5A is located in the Arabian Sea. And then as we go into Day 3 and Day 4, there's really nothing left of the Tropical Cyclone. To the contrary, the ECMWF is developing that low pressure area near the equator into a very minimal Tropical Cyclone, well away from Madagascar and well to the west of Australia as we go into 72 and 96 hours. So again, even if something were to form there, it's not going to be any threat to land. And as of right now, none of the dynamical models are showing any development in the South Pacific. So the tropics are looking somewhat quiet as Tropical Cyclone 5A has a high chance of dissipation within the next 48 to 72 hours. So we're going to go ahead and use this time to gear up for the Southern Hemisphere cyclone season near Australia. Again, it looks as though we will more than likely have at least one tropical cyclone 
It might not necessarily be near Australia, but we very well could get one in the region or somewhere out in the South Pacific by the middle part of December. That is one thing that I am fairly confident that we will be seeing here over the next few weeks. So thank you for tuning in to today's video update. We will have another video posted at 28storms.com slash cyclone no later than tomorrow evening.